Let's tackle the studio today. <laughs> I want to change it up again. So let's rewind. I just woke up. I think it's like 7.30 or something. And today I have a day off work. So I want to tackle my art studio. Today's Wednesday and I want to finish it this weekend. Will I be able to finish it? I don't know. I mean, it's 7.30 in the morning. I may be delusional. Who knows? <laughs> Any thoughts about dogs in the bed? Because I was against it until I got her. <laughs> I also finally bought Zelda Tears of the Kingdom yesterday. And I really want to play. <laughs> I mean, it's 7.30. I don't need to start right away, right? Here we are. I'm on an island right now and I don't know how to get away from it and it's cold and maybe I'm dying we'll see I don't know where my phone is but it's like around 11 o'clock <laughs> I played two hours instead of just one and I showered I went out with Tuli and Tuli is my dog or Tula now I'm ready to tackle the room it's it's a little bit chaotic the other day I started with like the clothes that were hanging here and yeah so maybe i'll show you that first it was like three days ago or something this thing here is taking way too much space and also it's like these things hanging here are the only things in this room that have a dedicated place um so i know where this stuff is going but for all the rest of this room, I have no idea. When we moved in, the dining room was the room where we put everything that had no place, like empty boxes. And as soon as the empty boxes were gone, we started to set up our dining room. So the dining room couldn't be the room where everything that has no place gets into. So unfortunately my studio became that room. And I mean, it was fine, we needed the place, but now I'm left with all the stuff that has no dedicated place in here. So I'm starting little with the things that I know have a place before I tackle the rest of the room. I don't even have like place to get to my closet. How am I living like this? so dumb okay. I need to... this is my okay will I be able to do this without hurting myself. No. I knew it. Why do I do this stuff? I don't know. I really don't know. I mean, it's not like we don't have a leather. I'm asking myself if I should put this a little bit higher. Like, I could put this thing up there because then I would have a little bit more space here. Right now, some of my hanging stuff are touching these shelves and it pisses me off. Like, I hate it because it looks cluttered, even when it's not. Is it recording? I have a new mic and I need to get used to it. I don't know, it's just a new technical thing and I don't I I don't trust the mic and I don't trust myself to get it right. But I think I think we're good. Yeah. Oh my god. There's so much stuff. Okay, I think what I need to do 
is get a lot of stuff out of this room so that I have kind of a blank canvas to work with. I think I want to sell this table or put it in our basement, but first I need to get all this stuff out of this room and away from this table. This is for a IKEA DIY project that I want to do as soon as the weather is getting better because I need to spray paint stuff and I don't want to do this outside when it's cold. So it has to wait a little bit, but these are the colors. There's enough space for canvases. I don't need. This is, it's like the back of a broken frame and it has this standing thing. And I thought maybe I could directly paint on this surface and just let it stand like this somewhere. Why is this here? I don't know. Oh my god, <laughs> like, what is this? I totally forgot about these pencils. The same color, but in different hues and tints. I'm sure it will be fun to play around with these. I love to do these Logic Mix magazines, but they are pretty ugly and I never know where to put them. Maybe in this thing. Okay, so we are done with this table. Where are my little tools? We also have this lamp. Goodbye, a little table. Does anyone else have this thing with furniture where you get attached emotionally to it? I didn't know I was attached to this bamboo table, but as I was taking it out of my studio, I was like, oh my God, this was my very first table for work and for art making. And now I'm just getting it out of here. And I'm kind of sad right now, but it's maybe also my period that kicks in. Who knows? Beside of me being a little bit sad about this table leaving my art studio, I am happy that I have space to walk right now. So the next thing I want to do, I think, is empty this shelf. The problem is that my dining room is getting worse and worse. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I give her enough water, I think. Maybe it's too much. Let's take her away for now.
Okay, so we have a blank canvas, I would say. I took everything out of the shelf except of the plant and this little toolbox and these two big boxes, but it is looking quite empty. So now we have to figure out where we want to have the different furnitures. <laughs> solution i'm not sure about this i'm i'm just trying it out i mean we're there for it it is now or never okay so what if i put it here I kind of like the desk there, but I don't love it. Back to how it was before. Maybe I'll try to put this. What do you say? Hmm? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so I have not that much possibilities. Can I move anything else in here? <laughs> no. This doesn't work. Putting this here makes it feel more like a closet room and less like my art studio. So I think I need to move it back. Oh, it's a lot about moving stuff around. <laughs> Okay, so how about this? Problem is that I have like intersecting lines. You have this line and then the line of the desk and then the line of the desk here and this line, it's like zigzagging a little bit. And I don't like that. This is annoying me so much. Okay, let's try out the carpet. I love this carpet so much, but it's too big and it fits perfectly with the sofa, but it's like almost too perfect, so it's not good. Bye, rug. So it's the next day. I wanted to let it sit for a while and see if I like it like this. And I really love this secretary there. But I don't think it's actually working for me because I worked today and it was like just four hours over, not five hours. I worked for five hours and I don't like my computer to be on the right side. So I need to change this around again. And I want also want to try if I can maybe put this big shelf 
like this in the room but i don't know maybe maybe it makes the room too small i i need to check that out but for now what we're gonna do is move this away from there and move the desk back to where it was the problem before was that I was sitting here and having my mouse here and like my arm was just flying around <laughs> and when I'm sitting on the left side my arm is on the table and it's it's just way more comfortable now we have to see what we're gonna do with the with the secretary I don't know man I don't know Let's try this. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I have enough space to grab my things here. So, I mean, that's fine. But I don't know. It's too big. I know it's your place, Tully, but I have to <laughs> move it around a bit. <laughs> it's just not working. Not at all. What about this? I don't know. Oh, why is this so difficult? I don't know why it is so hard, but it is. Is it better? recorded without putting my mic on yeah I'll just do a little voiceover for that first part and uh, yeah we'll see <laughs> okay let's record this very unplanned voiceover <laughs> I mean in my very first studio makeover I had a voiceover moment too so this makes kind of sense <laughs> so I was basically telling you that I did post these two options on my stories on Instagram and on TikTok because I didn't know what I liked more. The thing with option one was that it was like every furniture was standing at the wall in a circle and that bothered me a bit but I liked the openness of this option. And in option two I had the shelf as a room divider and it kind of makes the room smaller but it also makes sense because it separates my art space from my closet. So yeah, I just, I liked both. I also asked my family and friends. And in the end, I think it was like 40% to 60% and option two with the room divider one. So what I needed to do now is turn the shelves because the bottom part with the doors is on the wrong side. It's, it's opening to the side of the closet and I want it to open to the side of my art studio. So I need to turn the shelf over and put the smaller shelves on the other side so that I have the big shelf against the wall. Yeah, I don't know if this was clear, but it will be clear when you see what I'm doing. Okay, voiceover moment ending now. <laughs>
should put this one up there because my size. if I want to have the mirror where it is maybe I can put it there let's see okay so maybe in that corner it's kind of nice but I don't know if it makes sense <laughs> then it also it reflects the clutter that will be in there so Maybe it's not a good idea. And it just makes more sense near my closet because that's where I will be changing myself. So I just went to my basement um, to see if I have better looking shelves. And I found these. I don't know if it's an old or a new version of the IKEA shelf, but this one has like metal thing. I don't know how to say this but the material of this one is wood and metal and the material of the other shelves are wood and plastic and it's also looking a bit different because you see the gray color of the plastic on the side and I don't really like it and as it's now really obvious because when you're coming in you see it I want to change it up again so let's rewind I prefer these. Okay, so I don't want to, but all this mess needs to go back into the art studio <laughs> right now. Because we have the mother of my boyfriend coming over for dinner tonight and we would like to sit at our dining table. So, yeah. <laughs> So these are all unused, unused sketchbooks. <laughs> I think I have really nothing in them. Yeah, so this is all I have here. So many sketchbooks. Yeah, I had a phase where I was buying a lot of sketchbooks, if you can tell. <laughs> Okay, so here I have two big white boxes. In this one, there's just a little bit of like air drying clay and here is nothing. So maybe I just put them down here for now and we'll see if I need them later. I got this package, I think, I don't know. Four months ago. I think I talked about being attached to things and I'm really 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 attached to these wooden boxes. These are wine boxes. My father gifted them to me when I moved out into my very first own apartment. This apartment I'm so sad that I 
don't have any footage of this apartment. It was in France and it had so much French charm. Like it was, yeah, it was tiny. It had a little balcony with like ornamental metal f fences. Is it a fence when it's on a balcony? I don't know, but the thing that prevents you from falling down your balcony, okay. So yeah, it was, it was a very beautiful apartment. I really loved it. And these boxes were with me every time I moved. So I moved a few times. I moved from France to Berlin and then in Berlin I moved and then to here. They were with me from the beginning and I really like them. But the problem is that it, it is a little bit much wood when I have all these wooden boxes in this wooden shelf. So I don't know if I should paint the shelf in a color or in white. Maybe not all the shelf, maybe just one side. Because yeah, I think it's maybe a little bit too much wood. <laughs> I'm not sure about it. Well, it's not too bad. Bad. I think I like it. Okay, so let's bring in the plants. Maybe I need to take it down first because she's not that big. I think they need a little bit of water, these two. I'm really unsure about what I want to do with this plant because she's giving you leaves, but she's like, I mean... <laughs> this is my second time recording because I forgot to put on the mic. I'm a little bit off center right here. Yeah, better. What was I saying? Today I am working, so it's almost nine o'clock and I need to work five hours today. I want to work the whole morning, then I maybe want to get some sushi for lunch because I, I'm really craving for some fish. And then I have a few things left that I need to organize into the big shelves. And I also think that I may be going to buy a new plant. I am so happy right now. I did maybe order a little bit too much. Maybe. Eventually. But maybe not. I mean, I could put the leftovers in the fridge if, if there are some leftovers. The other day I worked longer than I expected, so I did nothing in here um, just because I had no time. Today is the day where we are gonna take care of the rest of the stuff that is laying around and like also decorating. I want to put on some things on the walls, like maybe this print of Lee Ellickson. I love these little rainbows.
really like it there. Let's see. Is it a good spot? Maybe I can put this there. Good friend of mine did this one. Let's see. I don't know. She's, she's a little bit too small for that. So I'm doing a passepartout for um, the Lee Ellison print. And I'm just seeing if it's the right size before I cut the paper. Perfect. Okay, so I guess it's time for the before and after shots. We're done. I was definitely delusional uh, when I said that I wanted to have this studio space done by the weekend. It's one and a half week later now. <laughs> so I definitely took longer than I wanted to, but I just, I mean, I had to work and life happened as always. So I'm really happy with how the studio looks right now. I'm still not sure if I will keep the wooden shelf as is because the room divider makes the room a little bit smaller. And I also wanted to like work with what I have and not spend too much money on new furniture. So I think it's a great setup for now. I just have to test out if it works for me when I'm like filming art making and stuff like this. We'll see that in the future and I will keep you posted in my next videos. I'm just happy that I'm done for now. For me, it was a long ride. <laughs> it's been two months since we moved in here. So I'm really happy that this room is done and that everything has its place and yeah tell me what you think about it i would be happy to know if you have any ideas i mean this setup is definitely not like a super rigid thing it can evolve so why not thank you so so much for staying till the end you're a real one i mean this one was a long one so yeah nice <laughs> see you in the next one bye